In this video, we'll learn how to find the equation of a line using the intercepts it makes with x and y axis. Here's an example. A line makes the intercepts minus 3 and 2 on x and y axis respectively. Find the equation of the line. So pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, let's plot this line. This is x axis, this is y axis. The line makes the intercepts minus 3 and 2 on x and y axis. So the x intercept is minus 3 and the y intercept is 2. Minus 3 intercept on x axis means that it passes through minus 3 comma 0 and 2 intercept on y axis means it passes through 0 comma 2. Did you notice something interesting? We just figured out from the knowledge of intercepts that this line passes through these two points. And once we know two points, we can use two point form or we can even find the slope of this and use the slope point form to get the equation. So a lot of new ways unlock for us to find the equation once we have these two points. This is the strategy that we can use. We now know two points, so the two point form is unlocked. Pause the video, try this on your own, figure out the slope and then find the equation using slope point form or directly plug in both the coordinates in the two point form. Okay, let's do this together. We'll do this using the two point form y minus y1 by x minus x1 equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Let's plug in the values. y minus 2 by x minus 0, we're taking this point as x1 y1. So y minus 2 by x minus 0 equals to 0 minus 2 by minus 3 minus 0. So this becomes y minus 2 by x equals to minus 2 by minus 3 minus sign cancels out. So this is 2 by 3. We can cross multiply 3y minus 6 equals to 2x. Little rearranging will give us 3y equals to 2x plus 6. Dividing by 3, we get y equals to 2 by 3x plus 2. So this is the equation of the line that has intercepts minus 3 and 2 on x and y axis respectively. All right, now let's generalize this. A line makes the intercepts a and b on x and y axis respectively. Find the equation of the line. So let's do the same thing, but this time the intercepts are a and b. Pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, so let's do this together. In the previous example, we had this scenario. The intercepts were minus 3 and 2. This time the intercepts are a and b. So if a intercept is on the x-axis, the line passes through a comma 0. So this point is actually a comma 0. And if b intercept is on the y-axis, it passes through 0 comma b. So this point is 0 comma b. Now that we have two points, we can use any of the forms that we have previously derived. In this case, we'll use the two-point form. So let's go ahead and do that. The two-point form says the equation is y minus y1 by x minus x1 equals to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. So let's plug in the points. We can take x1 y1 as 0 comma b and x2 y2 as a comma 0. So we get y minus b by x minus 0 equals to 0 minus b by a minus 0. Simplify y minus b by x equals to minus b by a. And cross multiply we get ay minus ab equals to minus bx. Let's bring x to this side. We have bx plus ay and let's move ab to this other side. We have that's equal to ab. It's a beautiful equation bx plus ay equals to ab, symmetric. We can actually divide the entire thing by ab. So this will give us x by a plus y by b equals to 1, that's ab by ab. And this is even more beautiful. x divided by its intercept and y divided by it, its intercept, adding them and equating to 1, this gives us the equation of a line in its intercept form. Here the condition is that a and b should not be 0 because you can't divide things by 0 in math. Alright, so this is the intercept form. Let's practice a problem. Find the equation of the line drawn perpendicular to the line x by 4 plus y by 6 equal to 1. The equation of this line is given in intercept form. So we need to find the equation of the line drawn perpendicular to this line through the point where it meets the y-axis. 
and we also need to find the x-intercept. So pause the video, try this on your own. Okay, so this is the scenario. We have this line x by 4 plus y by 6 equal to 1. Looking at this line, we can figure out the intercepts. The x-intercept is 4 and the y-intercept is 6. So this line passes through 4 comma 0 and 0 comma 6. So this is our line. And there's one more line, the line that is perpendicular to this one and passing through the point where it meets the y-axis. So this line meets the y-axis at its y-intercept, that's 0 comma 6. So we need to draw a line perpendicular to this line from 0 comma 6. So this yellow line is what we are after. We need to find the equation of this and we also need to find its x-intercept. So this line also meets the x-axis somewhere, probably in the negative x-direction. We need to find the x-intercept as well. So what's the strategy? Pause the video, think about it. Okay, let's do this together. So far, we know that the x-intercept is 4 of this original line and the y-intercept is 6. So this point is 0, 6 and this gives us our first clue. This line that we are after, this perpendicular, passes through this point 0, 6. So we can use this in the slope point form. We can also say that this 6 is the y-intercept of this perpendicular. The y-intercept for both these lines is exactly the same, that's 6. So we know that the line that we are after passes through the point 0, 6 and that's actually the y-intercept. What else? Well, we need the slope of this line. How can we figure out the slope? Well, because these two lines are perpendicular, their slopes are related. We can find the slope using the slope of the given line. So let's go ahead and do that. Rearranging the given line, we have y by 6 equals to minus x by 4 plus 1. We take x to the other side. Now multiplying by 6, we get y equals to minus 6 by 4x plus 6. Simplifying this, we get y equals to minus 3 by 2x plus 6. And this minus 3 by 2, that's the slope of this given line. So slope is minus 3 by 2. Now how do we use this to find the slope of this perpendicular? Well, the slopes are related. Perpendicular lines have their slopes related like this. Their product is equal to minus 1. So if we know one, we can figure out the other. So plugging minus 3 by 2 here, slope is minus minus plus, so that's 2 by 3. The way I remember this is, it's the negative reciprocal. So minus 3 by 2, which means positive 2 by 3. So that's the slope of this perpendicular. We have the point as well. We can finish this off using the slope point form, or we can do this by the slope intercept form as well. Let's do slope intercept here. y equals to mx plus c, m here is 2 by 3 and c the y-intercept that's 6 so that's 2 by 3x plus 6. Rearranging the equation we have 2x plus 18 equals to 3y. 3y comes to this side we have 2x minus 3y equals to 18 goes to the other side we have minus 18. Now let's practice writing this in the intercept form. Let's divide both sides by minus 18. We have 2x by minus 18 minus 3y by minus 18 equals to 1. And simplifying, we get x by minus 9 plus y by 6 equals to 1. Now just by looking at this equation, we can figure out that the x-intercept is minus 9 and the y-intercept is 6, which we knew from the beginning. 